Witnessing a volcanic eruption is, for many, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park welcomes more than a million visitors from around the world each year, and many of those visitors hope to see lava erupt in person. While each eruption is exciting, experts at the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory keep a close eye on what happens in between. Episode 23 of the ongoing Halamayuma'u eruption began at 4.15 p.m. HSD on May 25 with the emergence of a sustained lava flow. Lava flows covered the floor of the Halamayuma'u crater. Activity began at the north vent, which increased to a high flow at 4.50 p.m. The south vent was followed by a smaller flow at 5.15 p.m. by 5.20 p.m. The lava flow from the south vent reached a height of about 230 feet 70 meters, while the lava flow from the north vent reached a height of over 1,000 feet, 300 meters. The inflation gradient at UWD has reached more than 12 microradians since the end of the last episode and is rapidly changing to deflation as the ongoing lava flow begins. Seismic vibrations began to increase at 4.36 p.m. at the same time that the lava flow increased in height and volume. Emissions of sulfur dioxide, so too, are estimated to be approximately 50,000 tons per day during the lava flow. For residents of Hawaii Island, the recent eruptions at Kaluapel, Kalaue Summit Caldera, have provided many opportunities to view spectacular lava flows. Unlike recent eruption sites, such as the east or southwest rift zones of Kalaue, the Summit Caldera eruptions are accessible to the general public. A drive along Crater Rim Drive and a one-mile walk offers one of the best viewing areas near Kianakakoi Crater, although other areas along the Caldera Rim also offer spectacular views from afar. Prior to this eruption in December 2024, earthquake counts on Hawaii Island had reached some of the highest levels ever recorded here. Last summer, some weekly counts exceeded 2,000 earthquakes across the island. Some of these earthquakes were magma creating new pathways in the volcano, breaking rock along the way. When the magma erupts, this process of breaking rock stops and as a result the number of earthquakes decreases. In the past five months, the weekly earthquake count on Hawaii Island has rarely exceeded 500. Although there have been several earthquakes around Kalawe Summit during the ongoing eruption, the ground beneath Kaliopel has not completely calmed down. During eruptive episodes, rumbling lava fountains appear on seismic data channels as the eruption pulses. These signals are constant, loud, and distinct, occurring throughout an eruption and associated with the movement of large volumes of fluid. Although the pulses increase with the start of each eruptive episode, they do not completely disappear with each pause. They continue between episodes. Between eruptive episodes, ongoing pulses can vary in intensity due to vent geometry, gas emissions, magma depth, and other factors. The recent lulls showed repeated periods of low-frequency pulses in the pulses that often correlated with the rise and fall of lava at the vent. The process of lava filling the vent and then flowing repeatedly before a new eruptive episode has been seen by the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory live streaming camera. Pulses can indicate magma movement and slash or gas transfer within a volcanic system and vary in rhythm, duration, and intensity. One example is the cycle leading up to eruptive episode 20. The pulses began in earnest about nine hours before the lava flow began on May 6, just before 5.30 p.m. HST. Each pulse lasted about three minutes, at a rate of about eight pulses per hour. However, the lull between episodes 17 and 18 showed pulses that were closer to 10 minutes in duration, with only two to three pulses occurring per hour. Although pulses typically occur before or after eruptive episodes, they are not consistent. Unlike the beginning of episode 20, episode 19 began without a tremor pulse. Furthermore, we cannot assume that the pulses stopped during the eruptive episode, since strong tremors would have masked weaker signals. Recognizing seismic patterns or lack thereof can help us understand what is happening beneath the surface. Studying these patterns along with geodetic data, how the Earth contracts and expands with volcanic activity, changes in gas emissions and changes in magma composition, gives us the best chance of understanding the complex volcanic system beneath our feet. 
During many of these eruptions, Hawaii Volcano Observatory field crews have documented fluid outflows where lava has leaked out from beneath the hardened surface crust onto the crater floor, usually far from the eruption vent location. These fluid outflows tell us that even though the crust is solid on the surface, some of the interior remains liquid. During previous eruptions, field crews have had limited access to sample lava at Halamayuma because the vent is located deep within the Kaliwapel collapse area, because the crater surface and thus the vent height has risen and expanded laterally over time with each eruption since 2020, a safe opportunity to sample lava flows has become possible.